Hello, thank you for joining me. A viewer has asked a question, how do I draw a roof with uh, different contours on it and then extrude that roof in order to fit a, uh, a different shape that I have? And I'm going to try to address those issues and hopefully they'll, they'll do that for them. So, yeah, let's do this. What we're going to be doing is we're going to do a roof by extrusion. But we're not typically going to do the roof by extrusion like we usually do off of uh, some of these plans where it would, rep would be represented by the exterior walls. We're going to create a different plane and extrude it off of that kind of in an angle to the other walls to make it a little bit oversized and then we're going to trim it back to, uh, you know, fit to scale the house. So let's do this. Uh, just before we started, I created a whole new level. Uh, just by default it called itself level 5 and if we go to elevation view you can see that and we can call that roof 2 level if you like but we need a reference level for our roof when we draw that and I also made a uh, plan of that too by going to the view tab up here in a ribbon and going to plan views and created that plan so let's go to that level 5 a couple things we want to do here first and we're going to follow up in our properties and uh, make sure that um, you know, we could see some things a little bit later. But you want to make sure your underlay is uh, second floor or the first floor when you do this. Probably the second floor would be okay. That way you can see what's underneath there. If it isn't there by default, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So, let's create that uh, that plane that we're going to be drawn in. But like I said, we're not going to be drawn in a typical exterior wall plane. So we're going to create a plane that's kind of askew to the front and put our roof off to the side. So, the way we do that is we, if we go to the Home tab, it's under Datum. And depending on what uh, view you're in, whether it's an elevation or a section or a plan view, it determines whether you're going to choose a plane, a level plane, or a grid plane. Sometimes these are called grid lines, but uh, they're really only lines because they intersect our plane. And we see it as a line, but it's really a plane. We can't really see it as a plane, though. Does that make sense? But anyways, we're, this is a plane. Kind of think of it as a plane. If we wanted to, with these dimensions, we can go ahead and define this plane a little bit better. I'm going to move it down a little bit, give myself plenty of room, put an angle on it if we wanted to. But uh, for now, it's kind of like the shape I'm uh, looking for. So let's go ahead and uh, do our do our roof. Go to the home tab, go to roof, roof by extrusion, or not by footprint, by, by extrusion. And we're going to pick the plane. And this is going to be the plane we're going to pick. Normally we'd pick a, another plane on the side of the house. But uh, go to OK, pick this as our plane. And then we're going to draw from the south elevation, so it's going to be a little skewed when we put this together. And now we're going to do our roof reference level, our reference plan, and we're going to choose that level 5 for our reference plan. We need to have that so when we do our trim, we want to make sure we're trimming on that same plan. No offsets, so we're going to go to OK. And we're jumping right immediately into, uh, into our sketch tools. So I'm going to make it a little bit oversized. And kind of go up a little bit. I'm going to try to stay below that plane I just put in there. I could put an arc in there if I wanted to. Maybe a slight arc. Oop. It's a drastic arc. Maybe I'll follow up with a line. Kind of going up from there. And perhaps another line. Maybe horizontal. Eh, I don't like horizontal. Let's go down a little bit. Okay, again we're going to make this oversized so we can uh, make the walls go up to that roof. And uh, for now just a basic generic roof would be fine. Check mark. And we're in pretty good shape, it looks like. Let's go ahead and move that roof up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and click on that roof and press my arrow keys. I'm going to make sure it's below my level 5 level, but above the roof. Or the, the wall level, too. Okay. Let's scoot out in a 3D view and take a look at that and see what that looks like. Looks like a big hat. Doesn't quite go out as far as I want it to. So maybe stretch it out a little bit again. We're going to trim this up. Good. Looks good. So before we go any further, let's go ahead and extend our roofs, uh, our walls up to the roof. Remember to attach the top base. Let's go ahead and do that to our, our walls. It's just a matter of picking a wall first, roof second. Oop. Okay. Attach the top base. Click that. Swing that around. This wall's uh, kind of kind of reversed. What happened there? Well, we'll go ahead and get that fixed by the next video. Oop. What am I doing here? So attach top base, again we're going to click that up to the roof and so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video as it is right now. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up, switch that wall around, make sure all the other uh, walls are up to the, attached to the top base, and then we're going to trim it. So join me then.